blueberries and grapes. One evening, Sir Handel was cross. The trucks had been very naughty, and as a result, he was late for his passenger train. He started grumbling about it. Can't you believe it, Scarlowie? He exclaimed as Scarlowie backed into the sheds. Me, an engine who wasn't at fault, gets blamed for being short on steam and being late for my next train? Unbelievable! Just then, Ivo Hugh arrived. He could see that Sir Handel was cross, but wanted to test him a bit. Honestly, when will anybody show me some respect around here? Maybe if you weren't so stubborn for your wheels. <laughs> I'll be off with you. At least I get to do something for a change, and meanwhile, you're probably just soaking in the yards. And at least I do my work without complaining, unlike you, Blueberry. Blueberry? Let me tell you! Will you stop arguing? Reneas peeped. Some of us have to get some rest, you know. Sir Handel looked crossly at Ivo Hugh as he puffed to the back of the shed and went to sleep. For the next few days, Sir Handel and Ivo Hugh would always get into an argument each time they saw each other. Whenever they were at a station or passing by one another, they would both argue at each other. Hey, Bluefish, don't go making a fuss or else you might land in trouble, teased Ivo. You wouldn't be so cocky if something bad happened to you, Grape on Wheels. Now you listen here, you little- Oh, what's that? Purple doesn't suit you well. <laughs> Take my advice and get painted into blue like me, chuckled Sir Handel. What and look like a nonce like you? I mean, it's not my fault that you're always as slow as a snail, that you can't even pull a single train without trouble. Well, at least I don't have the face of the- Will you two shut up? Both of you are late for your next jobs for crying out loud. Heh. <laughs> nice work, Ivo, growled Sir Handel. Whatever, grumbled Ivo. Reneas lost patience. I swear, will those two just shut up? I'm tired of waking up to them bickering over one another. It's been like this for the past few days, and they both have done nothing to resolve their arguing. Oh, don't worry, Peter Sam. I'm sure they'll soon learn not to pick a fight with each other. But how? It's simple. Engines who do something idiotic or whatever do learn their lesson in the end, but only in the hard way, of course. The next day, Sir Handel was puffing down the line with his sleep train to the quarry. He was still cross at Ivo Hugh for what he said to him. However, there was trouble. There was a pole on the rails and was stuck in the sleepers. Sir Handel, stop! I can see something on the rails! Oh, rubbish. I don't see- <gasps> But it was too late. Oh, you idiotic- Engine! Now we'll have to call for help! Sir Handel felt silly. Unfortunately, the engine that came to his rescue was none other than Ivo Hugh. So, um, Sir Handel, he went on. What was that that I said to you about being so stubborn and whatnot? Ah, well, never mind. I came to help you back on the rails and take the train home anyway. It took them a while to get Sir Handel back on the rails, but they were soon on their way. Ivo Hugh pulled Sir Handel and his train with him for the rest of the journey. When they reached the top station, Gordon was waiting. Oh, I say, what happened to you, Sir Handel? Oh, don't mind him, said Ivo. He just had to deal with pipes in the sleepers, and now will be sulking his stubborn self in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Handel just said nothing. That evening, Ivo Hugh pulled into his shed where Sir Handel was waiting. Hey Ivo. Yes? Thank you for saving me. 
And I'm sorry if I were ever rude to you. Oh, that's alright, Sandal. And I'm sorry for being a bit rude myself. Sir Handel and Ivo Hugh now both get along with each other. They may still bicker sometimes, but both agree to never go against each other ever again.